Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, this is Jane Gardner, and welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies. Today is Strategy Sunday, and we're going to be talking about whether your business plan is going to be profitable and how to determine that. So today is Strategy Sunday, and as we know, I am Jane Gardner. I work with my husband for the last 20 years in our home-based structural engineering firm in Western Canada, and I came out onto the internet to help others start their own home business. So, hey, this is what Solopreneur Success Strategies is all about. It's about learning about things that you need to know in order to have a profitable business. So today, it's going to be about how to determine if your business plan is profitable. As we've been looking at how to make a business plan, you should have a business plan yearly that you have that you maybe strategize on in January and work with during the year to see how you're going and how successful your business is doing and whether or not you need to make changes and, uh, and make some changes to change into another direction. But this is Strategy Sunday where we talk about your vision for you and your business. We've talked about that previously. Uh, goals, your one-year, three-year, and five-year goal. We looked at some business models, and then we looked at your business plan and some of the information you need in order to have a business plan. And we'll be looking at some of the business trends in 2016 and how they'll affect your strategy in the coming years. So let's get started uh, with uh, our our strategy. I just realized, of course, that I hadn't done my slides yet. So while we talk, I will be putting together my slides. So I apologize for the screen, but it's what's called improving. And so this is called improving. For those of you on audio, I am pulling up and putting in my screens slides for everyone else. And here we go. As I've mentioned before, your business is like a stream. It flows, it can trickle, it can change direction, it can surge, can get blocked, but it can never go back in time. So you always want to be moving forward. We've already had a look at some of the strategy that we've been doing in this Strategy Sunday. But as I mentioned, the overview is that you have been looking at your vision for you and your business. If you miss those um lessons you can go back to jgtips.com backslash youtube and have a look at some of my previous episodes of strategy sunday to have a look at how to work on your vision for your business we looked at the goals for your business we also looked at some online business models the pros and cons for them and then also deciding whether or not it's a lifestyle business that you're interested in and then we started putting together the business plan so one of the things that I would recommend you certainly consider is to have a diverse business model. At the very minimum, have at least three layers of revenue that will be coming into your business, whether it's a small product at $30 and another product at $500 and another at $10,000 or service. You always have to have different um, revenue streams coming into your business to build your business and keep it strong. Because just like a stream, in one of those revenue streams can trickle up and die, especially on the internet. And uh, you have to be able to have other ways to make money in your diverse business model. And another thing you have to consider is what kind of business model will match with your goals for your lifestyle business. Um, before you can decide on your business model, you have to decide on what you want your lifestyle business to be in terms of your goals and visions for the business. What kind of um, time do you want to spend on the business? What kind of time do you want to spend with your family and friends? And also this will affect what your business model will be. So your business model should work with your lifestyle. You should not fit your lifestyle into the business model because that won't work. You'll get fed up and realize that life is for the living and you're not 
living the lifestyle that you want. So you'll probably uh, quit that business and try something else. So always make sure that you're looking at your lifestyle and how you want it to be and what the vision is and the goals are for your lifestyle as well as your business so that you um, are working with it as a lifestyle business rather than just a business. So after doing that, we are going to think about what is a business plan and why do you need one. A business plan doesn't have to be complicated. All you have to do is map out your goals, put together an action plan in your financial budget, and see how that is working in terms of being a profitable business. And you should create a business plan if you want to get funding, whether it's from your bank, it's for your family or friends, or if you want to put together some savings to start the business and want to know how much you should start with, it's a great way to work out how much you need to get started. As well, it can help you keep your business organized during the year so you know whether or not you're going in the right direction and whether you're losing money or gaining and whether or not you need to see if there's something wrong with your business and change your direction. So in a business plan, it's always good to have some basics. So you put together the business model description of what the business you want to do is. We had a look at some online business pros and cons previous episodes. You can go look at those at jgtips.com backslash YouTube anytime. And then we have the unique value proposition that you can use to differentiate yourself from others. And then we looked at your small term and your long term business goals and how that will affect your business and how you go from the end in mind and then go back to see where you start and how to go forward. And then we had a look at your sales and marketing plan and how to use uh, an action plan of testing your marketing and seeing if it's working to attract the customers you want, and if not, how to find another marketing uh, thing to do. And then we're looking at the financial forecast and budgets right now. We had a look last time at the um, how to schedule out your business plan for ultimate success. So we had a look at laying out your tasks in a logical order and starting with the end result and working backwards. And then you market the, uh, have, do some marketing and then tally the marketing results and your target market, what the reaction was from your target market and see whether or not it's something that you should continue with or maybe change your direction. So you gather your test results together to see which marketing may be more successful. And so today, and then also, of course, we looked at the essentials you need to know for estimating future revenue. So you'd need to know what your percent market share is or what your conversion rate is or what the revenue is versus your average revenue uh, per uh, investment estimate, etc. We had a look at that last week. And then we plotted the estimated revenue each month for each project and get a yearly estimate. And then you would go back periodically and update your budget to see whether or not it's working and where you need to change things. The internet is a very volatile place and changes from day to day, so you always have to be keep aware that at some point one revenue storm stream might um, be change, and certainly one technology will change very quickly. So today we're going to determine how to determine if your business plan will be profitable. And so there's three, four basic things that you look at uh, to estimate your business plan profitability. So step one would be to estimate your costs of the things that you need to do in your business in order to get it started and then running and in terms of the business and what the business model is. So have a look at what the cost would be for putting up a website and having um, inventory and then creating your product from that inventory and then selling that product, what would you use and what are the expenses in order to do that. And then estimate that, of course, put that all together. Step two, you'd estimate your revenue and uh, see what uh, from your research and your target market research and your competitor research um, have a think about estimating your revenue as what to what you think it might be and then you would um then of course the step three would be to estimate your one time um your own time investment um how much time do you think you'll need to spend on your business in order to make it 
in work the way you want it to in your business plan. For example, if you are doing social media marketing, if you get a tool that costs a certain a social media tool that costs uh, you know so much per month, but it saves you time by you being able to only work um, an hour on that and being able to work on other things after that, then you are looking at a good um, time investment in terms of committing yourself to that cost. And so then you calculate your break-even point and your return on your investment is start for step four. So let's have a look at the four steps. So as I mentioned before, you want to first step is to estimate your costs. Now that you have your business to model together and you know what your target market is and what your marketing and sales plan may be, you can certainly figure out what the cost will be of the tools and technology that you will need in order to um, work this business model. And then you would estimate uh, your fixed versus your variable costs. So your fixed costs would be, for example, a yearly fee for a website uh, would be a standard cost, whereas a variable cost will be cost of your inventory. And depending on how much inventory you need to make and how much the cost of that might vary as you go uh, through the year with the cost of living increase on uh, cost of the inventory and producing it. So you can look at the variable costs and put down your fixed costs that you will have. And then you want to estimate your revenue. It's just a guess, but you look at maybe your past income that you've done with it and, and what you're doing to increase your income and see whether or not um, you think you can estimate your revenue possibilities for de term after you have already determined what the percentage of your target market you could probably get and who your target market is, of course, and you've done all research on your competitors. And um, then you have a look at maybe some new business ideas and you look at other competitors to help to or even ask advice of others who are in the same business to es help estimate what the uh, revenue might be uh, once you uh, start uh, working in your business. And then you want to estimate how much time will you be spending on your business because it's important to know because time is an expense. And if you don't know how much time you think you'll need in order to market your business versus actually um, uh, connecting with your clients or selling your product or putting up a website or, you know, whether or not you need to find someone else to do some of these, um, some of these uh, chores in your business, you need to figure out also what the time is in, as an expense in terms of obviously estimating your own time investment in the business. And then to calculate your break-even point and your return on investment, um, how long would the revenue cover your expenses? And when will you start earning profit? So you would make a budget and put it on an Excel spreadsheet of all your costs, um, all your um, possible estimated revenue, and then subtract the uh, cost from your revenue and see how long it would take until you could get a revenue that would make a profit and to start making a profit. So then what you would want to do is basically um, know, well, is it going to be six months from now that I, if I start making a bit of revenue, how when will it be? if I was just to go uh, without any um, initial investment uh, versus uh, getting an initial investment capital, invest, excuse me, investment, uh, would that help in terms of being able to get the revenue I need um, before the money runs out um, and how long that would be until you could um, have a profit? So you do a budget and make some rough estimates that can help avoid mistakes and determine whether your plans and your goals are worth the effort and expense. So now that you've had an actual research and you've looked at your target market, you've researched your competitors and what they are getting in terms of revenue and everything else, and you've put together the business plan 
and a budget and figure it out what the costs are versus the revenue that you can make and subtract it and found out that possibly even with capital investment um, at the beginning, you won't make a profit for a year. Well, the question is whether or not you should continue on with that business um, because even if you're estimating and you can't make a profit, then this business model may not be one that you can uh, work with. And at the same time, having this um, budget and the business plan available for you to refer to while you are launching your business, you can see whether or not you'll become into an issue of not having the uh, money to cover your expenses. And maybe you can then adjust your budget and your business plan to reflect that and change your direction in terms of what your business plan is. So that's a rough idea of what the business plan will help you with in terms of starting your business and even working with your business plan year to year. And if you want to have any more help with that, you can go to jgtips.com backslash plan where we look at how to determine if your business plan will be profitable and how to implement it and how to um, estimate it and how to test it and how to set your goals, etc. in terms of making up a plan for your business for the year as well as even for when you're starting a business and maybe you'll decide that you don't want to do that business and you'll have to find another business model or add other revenue streams into your business model once you put something down on paper. So it's always good to be able to know how to do a business plan and you can do that at jgtips.com backslash plan and have a look at the offer there and uh, see if you'd like to try and uh, get together and do the structure together for the offer for your business plan and that you can work with every year and not just when you start out. So next week we'll look further at the financials. Maybe we'll do a demo of financials and to catch up with the Strategy Sunday training and the rest of the week go to Solopreneur Success Strategies playlist on my YouTube channel at http colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash youtube so thank you very much and please subscribe comment and like my video it'd be much appreciated if you subscribe and comment and like and next week we'll talk to you later with um, a possible demo of a financial plan for a business model maybe go over a few business models again so thank you very much this is jane gardner at jane-gardner.com thank you Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer so welcome thanks for listening and i hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset your customer getting your message out on social media and on your website talking about strategies talking about business systems talking about all kinds of things including the skills that you need as a solopreneur so please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs thank you